Welcome to Ride Along. This is, I'm Malcolm. I'm Jeff. And uh, we're here to take you on a ride and talk about all things nerdy. So, next week. Next week? You're the one who's the most excited about this more than I am. What do you mean, what's next week? What starts on Monday oh! goes throughout the rest of the week. The CW shows. That's right. Coming back, Supergirl, The Flash, the Legend. Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow. Oh. Hopefully something will fill up Friday time slots. I don't know. I heard they're making a Black Lightning TV show. I'm hyped for that. That's going to be dope. Happy side track. Side track to be side track. That's pretty much what he is. Okay. At this time, great time, you don't have Black Lightning and then have a character as popular as Static Shock, which is basically just the younger version of Black Lightning. But not. You know what I'm saying about? They don't have season two or four of Flash and Arrow. Do a rewatch of both of them, and I realized I actually like season three of Arrow a lot more than people get credit for. I do too. The, Ra the Raz, Rage, fantastic, he was solid. I'm excited of, from for season five because there was a teaser picture that Mr. Stephen Amell posted up. I think it was Monday of him sitting next to the certain Deathstroke. I'm sorry. <laughs> After seeing the Deathstroke that was supposed to be at the end of the Suicide Squad movie, the Deathstroke just looks like garbage. I'm not gonna lie. Like, he's not bad, but in comparison, he looks like trash. Manu Bennett. Manu Bennett is great. I'm not saying anything bad about Manu Bennett. His costume is crap. <laughs> Look, man, TV show. <laughs> I know. I know. But, dude, uh, Arrow's costume? Fantastic. Flash costume? It's not Ezra Miller's, but it's awesome. I don't like that. It's all that much. A little bit. It's awesome. It's very Injustice-esque. Everyone's going for that armored look in it. I dig it. That's not how a runner should be, though. He should have less stuff. Oh, it's obviously something. Because if he's in. good, he doesn't need armor. He's fast enough. He's not mistaken. He makes him look cool. Leave him alone. <laughs> don't mess with the cosmetics, bruh. But anyway. Deathstroke's coming back. I'm terrified because usually when Deathstroke's around, somebody dies. Then again, if any villain's around, somebody, actually a lot of people die. Basically, almost everyone but Oliver dies. Luthor! Spoiler alert. I'm gonna rewatch it. I'll have to stop like halfway through and be like, alright, I'm done. See you soon. Let's go. Laurel's still alive in my mind. So I'm excited for Flashpoint for season three of Flash. Oh yeah, that's gonna be because that's gonna, that's gonna, gonna be, be nuts. After reading and watching the, the movie, the comic, it's gonna be almost nothing like that. It's gonna be nothing but like it, but I'm excited to see where they take it. I I just really want to see, especially since with Supergirl they're bringing Superman in the second season of that. Oh, I just, especially after what you told me about what happens with Oliver on one of the years on the island. Definitely want to see that. Like, oh, the year one? No, that wasn't year one. That was the New 52 stuff. When yeah. he comes back, yeah. he starts to yeah. so that little bit. And just like, oh, my mom's in Gotham and they're in the middle of a power outage. Exactly. I want to see that. I want to see him connect with Batman because Batman. I mean, you got Superman on your TV shows. Why not add the other freaking dynamic of it? It'll just be freaking. They're not going to have Batman to be Wonder Woman. I love Batman. Wonder Woman. But make you cry. I like, especially for Arrow, that's just something I really want to see. That teaser, uh, that teaser for Supergirl Season 2 is fantastic. Oh yeah. I've never been excited to see Supergirl, well, not since I was like 6 or 7. I've never been excited to see Superman in my life. I think I'm more excited because at least that little tidbit, they made him more like a cheery person and not the Man of Steel. Yeah. But I mean, e even before Man of Steel happened, like, I, I was never big on Superman. I don't know what it is, it's just, I like it. Tyler, <laughs> Tyler Hotchlin, I don't know. Whatever his name is. The man who is- T. Hotch. T. Hotch, I would call him T. Hotch. The, the TV you know, Superman. TV Superman, he, he looks solid. He, I, I like the way he looks, I like his costume. And then, I don't know, a lot of people- Legends is just up for air. True. I'm oh excited God. for it, I don't know where they're gonna go with it. But that's all in the great mystery of the show. Oh, I think so. Are we actually gonna be in it? Well, it's not the chick from Arrow. the episode of Arrow, no, but I think it's supposed to be like one of her ancestors that she ended up doing or something. Okay. And then, freaking Citizen Steel, curious to see what they did with him. 
I don't know much about him. What's the name of this legend? It's just steel. This is Citizen Steel. Basically, his Tell body... Tell about a citizen? No. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Citizen Steel, I'm not sure if it's like his costume or like him himself. Something about him is made of living steel and it's just like... It's just a hot mess. Comic books, bro. <laughs> Comic books. Flash is gonna be ridiculous. I don't know what to expect. Because obviously it's not gonna be like it is in the comic books or <laughs> <laughs> Robert Pickens. I'm just curious as to how. Well, I'm assuming Flash is gonna have something or everything to do with Laurel Returns. Because she's supposed to be back in the regular show. And, like, and literally all of the shows, except Super you saw the Super Bowl, I would have to play. I would nope. cry. I, I'd carry cry. I'd be the happy.